G'day there again guys, it's Atten here. Last time I saw you we were um, basically working on setting up an MTSA server. This is a bit of an extension onto it and maybe a bit of a, um, you know, bit of, like basically where, uh, basically sort of an introduction into, um, you know, starting and stopping, refreshing and dealing with resources basically. Now, what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to add ACL reload to um, the administrator um, groups, that way I can ac make, access the function ACL reload. So this means that I can edit the access control list and use run code to essentially reload it, that way I can make edits without having to shut down the server. Okay, so you can see here that our MTA server is started up. Now you'll find this under the local tab. Now the reason for this is because it's on your local network. Um, unless you've port forwarded, you will not see it under the internet tab. So we're just going to click on default MTA server. Now when you see this black screen here, this is sort of an indicator that basically here um, that the MTASA server hasn't, you know, of course spawned you in. There's no code that's actually going to spawn you in. This is basically because the resources that are designed to, of course, bring us onto the server and spawn us in have been switched off. So what I'm going to do now is find, just start up a few resources, like reload, real drive by and all that. Okay. Now, in the MTA configuration, you can add resources to start once the server starts, and you can also protect them from being stopped or started by, you know, of course, marking them as protect protected. But now we're on the MTASA server, we can, of course, get out our weaponry and shoot shit pretty much. So, yeah. Now, Say for example here, we wanted to, like, I don't know, we wanted to go to community. Now, let's say there was some really, really cool script out there. FPS ping, uh, 2048, shop. Um, hmm. What would be a good resource? Okay. So say for example here, you wanted to download a speedometer. Now you see here, this is just, well, a speed meter resource, so I'll click and um, go ahead and download it. So go ahead, select it, I'll copy this. Now what I'm going to do is go to server, mods, deathmatch, resources, and I'm going to go ahead and create a folder. Now. To make a folder here, what you need to do is do brackets, and you can basically put whatever name you like. So, in this case, I'm going to be using the name dev. If you were to put just a folder here, the MTA server would think you're just putting a resource into the resources directory. If you put these here, these brackets, it will tell us that this is a folder containing many resources. Okay. Okay, so we have our speeder meter here. It's um, it's raw source code, and it appears to be pretty old. So I'll just rename it to speedo. Okay, now we have the uh, resource. Now, if we try to start it, well, crap. Of course, you see that you know what doesn't do anything what you need to do is type in refresh. What refresh does is it essentially searches the resources folder for resources. So if you drop a resource in, you need to refresh. 
if you edit a Lua file, you need to refresh. So I'll go ahead and start Speedo. So let's spawn a car. And as you can see, we've loaded a speedo onto our server. If you don't want the speedo anymore, you can just stop it. You can also restart the speedo, which starts it and stops it. So that's pretty much all I'm going to be doing for this video. That's just to show you how you can install resources, refresh and restart, and you can also make use of run code and other things to do cool stuff, but anyways I'll leave that for another video. So yeah, this is just a video where I'm talking, just showing you about resources, so yeah, see ya.